Here you can see an example of um, the advantage of using this white cement. Uh, this concrete has a lot of discoloration in it. It didn't come up with just cleaning it over here. So um, even though I want a multicolored pattern, it's nice to have more control over that. So with the, we're going with the white cement over this, this will all go away if you not an issue. One thing I like to do uh, when I remodel is always um, pan out here a little bit, adjust this a little bit, see what we're doing. I'm going to sand this and use a uh, additive on the concrete to increase the bonding strength. So here I put the uh, first coat of yellow stain down on the storeroom floor and I put it down using the sprayer on the left there, spread it around with that floor mop. And this first coat, um, we can see that the, um, the, the coverage was uneven, which is no big deal. I'm going to put another coat of yellow stain on here. Um, but you can see there's some dark spots, light spots, lots of brush marks. Um, so what I'm going to do, I think, is continue to put the stain down with um, the first coat of stain with that sprayer on the mop and that floor mop. Then on the next coats, all the rest of the coats, um, I'm going to use, get on my hands and knees, and I'm going to use that um, those knee pads. I'll, I'll put it around, spray it around with a, um, a foam brush. Let's pan out here and see if we can get a good look here. Here's another uh, view from the other side, <clears throat> looking toward the kitchen. So you can see once I remove those cabinets above that stove and countertop, uh, that will open that area up quite a bit. And uh, I'll compensate for other storage uh, in other areas of the house.